Michael, you mind if I come in? Oh, no, go ahead. How was the funeral? Uh, it was beautiful. Uh, I just wish more people could have been there to see it. Uh, it's no big deal. I got some extra work done. Mm. That's all that matters. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. L listen, even though Mr. Fillmore is dead and buried, Fillmore Industries is very much alive and well. And even though we're about to have some major announcements soon, we just want you to know there's nothing to worry about, okay? Okay. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, there's some leftover funeral brisket in the break room. Have at it. Okay, I'll keep it in mind. All right. Good day. Thank you for calling Fillmore Industries. This is Michael Wyatt speaking. How may I be of your assistance today? Hi, Michael. It's me, Maggie. You know, your sister. Yeah, no, I recognize your voice. <clears throat> Why are you calling me? Uh, so, uh, how's things going in your life? Maggie, why are you calling me at work? I just wanted to see how you're doing. Now is really not a good time. Can we talk after I get off? No, I need to talk to you now. To see how I'm doing? Maggie, we haven't spoken to each other in almost a year. I know, but I... Uh, I, I need somewhere to stay. I left the house and I have nowhere else to go. Can I stay at your place for a little bit? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Um, do you still have the key? Yeah. It, it's nothing. I know. I know. Okay, I'll see you when I get off work. Bye. I should have called you before. It's okay. We're both leading our own exciting lives. Oh, but you're my brother, and I didn't know you worked at the same place. That call was just a shot in the dark. Yep. Same place. So, how's that going? Is that old man still crazy? No, he's dead. Oh. This is his funeral brisket. So, how's life going? What happened with mom and dad today? I just couldn't take it anymore. Why? They treat me like I'm a kid. Like I can't make decisions for myself. Don't say anything, Michael. I wasn't gonna say anything. Your eyes were saying something. What was I gonna say, huh? You were gonna say they're right. You are so naive. You just trust everyone. The world is a mean place. You should work in a windowless corporate office like I do. You do need to grow up, Maggie. Just because I trust people and care about people and try and see the good in the world doesn't mean I need to grow up. No, that's exactly what that means. I knew I shouldn't have come here. What? Maggie. Maggie. Come on. What, Michael? I don't want you to leave. I know how mom and dad can be. That's why I left. Let me tell you a secret, Maggie. Nobody knows how to be an adult. What if I don't want to work in an office? It doesn't have to be an office. But no matter what you do, you're not gonna be happy. You get a job to make money and then you spend the rest of your life hoping that you'll die in the nicest house that you've ever seen. What if I find a job I love? <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Now let's go finish this funeral brisket. Oh, 
Don't you just... Why are you dressed like that? I'm getting a job today. Oh, are you? <laughs> Could you take me to the mall we used to go to as kids? I want to see if they need someone to press the go button on the carousel. The mall's been dying for five years. Oh. All right, here you go. Thanks, I'll just take the bus back to your apartment whenever I'm done. Neato. Hey, huh? hope you find that dream job. Thanks for the ride. No problem. She's from work. She's from work. From work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it, Sean. I want you to grab your bags and get out of my life. Hey, hey, hey. Are you two uh, together or what? Oh, together? Not anymore. He can go fuck himself and shit in a bucket for all I care. Oh my god. I hope you die alone, you son of a bitch. I am going home and you are not welcome. <sighs> it's, uh, it's all gonna be okay. Trust me. So over here is the last office of our corridor. Um, this is Michael Wyatt. Do you mind if we come in? Oh, no, of course not. Come oh. in. This is Michael Wyatt. Uh, he's our sales manager. Michael, this is Connor Fillmore. He is Mr. Fillmore's son. He's going to be taking over the company today. Well, it's it's very nice to meet you. Your father was a, he was a nice man. So, Tim, is this the end of your tour? Well, unless you'd like to take a tour of the uh, the janitor's closet. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Well, in that case, Tim, you're fired. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you need to pack your shit and leave the next 30 minutes, or I'm going to have security escort you out of the building. Connor, you can't just do this to me. Well, uh, this isn't going to be the same company anymore, Tim. I'll make sure of it. What was your name again? Uh, it's Michael. That's right, Michael. You seem like a really cool dude. Thanks. You want to be best friends? What, what? What do you? What do you mean? Like, like buds or whatever, man. Don't make this weird. Okay. Awesome. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go make sure that asshole is clearing out his desk. What just happened? Hello. Would you like to earn some money? Did you say money? Yes. First place gets $1,000 cash. It's a competition? Yes, it's a ribbon dancing competition. Ribbon dancing? Yeah. Do you know how to ribbon dance? Um, yeah. You do? You're the first person today that said yes. <laughs> yep. I'm a ribbon dancer. Which means I dance. With ribbons. That's correct. Great. You'll just have to provide your own music. I hope that's okay. No problem. Do you mind if I have just one second before we continue? Yeah, sure. Okay, I just need to make a quick phone call. I can't talk right now, Maggie. I have a question about a certain definition. Can it wait? I have a lot of big things going on today. I have a lot of stuff going on today too, Michael. Well, great. Then we can talk about it when we get home. Sound good? No. Wait. I just need a quick answer. What is it? I can't stay on here long. Well, on an existential level, what really is a job? It's anything that makes you money. Perfect. Then I have a job, Michael. And I love it. Are you serious? Yeah. Aloha, buddy! I, I gotta go. Bye. Hey! Hey! Can I call you the Mikester? 
Sure thing, boss. Oh, no, don't call me boss. That's what I was forced to call my father. Well, sign me up. Great! What's your name? Maggie Wyatt. And your partner? Um, my partner? Oh, I'm sorry, did I not mention that earlier? It's a ribbon dancing duo competition, so you'll have to have a partner. Can't I just do it myself? No. You can't. Is that gonna be a problem? No, not at all. Great, what's their name? Their name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their name is, uh, Table. Uh, abandoned Mall. So, how long have you been working here? Uh, almost four years. Wow. Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You can tell me if you don't. Oh, no, no, I like it too. Okay, I believe you. Cool. Your partner's name is Table Abandoned Mall? Yep. That's not a name. It's a stage name. Interesting. Okay, does it mean something? Nope. Okay, well, um, so the competition is going to be Friday at 10 a.m. in the Williamson Auditorium, a.k.a. the old J.C. Penney's. Um, refreshments will be served, and there'll be some vegan options as well. Great! Uh, um, one more question. Did you say this Friday? I did. As in three days from now? That's correct. Fantastic! Well, me and Table Abandoned Mall will have our routine ready by Friday. Great! Thank you. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Why did I say I was a professional ribbon dancer? And why did I tell Michael I have a job? Oh god, Maggie, you are such an idiot! Oh! Hi! You know that Satan's palace, right? Cool! Thanks for the information! No problem. Oh, wait, hey, hey, wait! I know this is an off chance and I'm probably being naive to ask, but do you know any professional ribbon dancers? Ribbon dancer? Uh-huh. You know, like someone who dances with ribbons. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do! Really? Yeah, really! Cool! Who is it? Pearl. Pearl. Who's Pearl? I'm Pearl. Wait, you're a professional ribbon dancer? Yeah. I knew it! I knew if I stayed positive, everything would work out! Ah! Pearl, will you be my ribbon dancing partner? When's the competition? This Friday. This Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm free. <gasps> Great! <laughs> I'm homeless. I don't know how today could get any worse. I don't know how today could get any better.
Did Tamara win the bonus round? No, she went bankrupt on her last spin. Looks like Joey's going to win. Is Joey the one from Buffalo? No, Franklin's from Buffalo. Joey's from Tampa. That's right. Oh, hey, Michael. Maggie. What's going on here? Michael, this is Pearl. Pearl, this is Michael. Hi, Michael. I've heard so much about you. This your place? Yeah, it is. Maggie, who is this lady? Her name is Pearl. Yeah, no, I got that part. She's going to teach me to a ribbon dance. Pearl, you're a ribbon dancer? There's food at this thing, right? Yes. I'm a ribbon dancer. Maggie, can I speak with you in the kitchen for a second? Sure. What's up? Is this a joke? If I win, maybe this could open up a whole world of ribbon dancing competitions for me. You can't just become a ribbon dancer. It takes hard work. I think you're just jealous of my job. This isn't a... When is the competition? It's coming up. What do you mean? When is it? It's soon. Soon? Like two months or something? It's this Friday, Michael. <sighs> I know it's quick, but, but I think Pearl will be a great teacher. Pearl is a liar. What? How could you say that about somebody you just met? I mean, because she's obviously just trying to use you. How can you not see these things? Are you just saying that because she's homeless? What? No. No. I mean, maybe a little, but that is not, Michael. it's not exactly the whole reason. Michael, that's horrible. Look, I don't have time for this today. Not now. I met my new boss today and he's this dweeby, arrogant, country club going, elitist snob who has never had a hard day of work in his entire life. He came in, fired a guy, then asked me to be his best friend. Mm, that's sweet. What did you say? Did you not hear the rest of what I just said? This guy is going to be the death of me. You can always focus on the negatives, Michael. But if you do, you will never see the beauty of the world. You sound like a cartoon flower. Thanks, Michael. Pearl can stay here until Friday. Oh, great! But Maggie, she is not a ribbon dancer. I think the moral of this story is going to be that we should trust homeless people because they have hearts of gold. This is not an after school special, Maggie. There are no lessons to be learned. There are always lessons to be learned. Hey, Joey just won the car. <gasps> really? The Mini Cooper? I didn't think you would have guessed it. I practically gave it to him. It was really easy. Nice to meet you. I know you're lying. We need more chips. So what do you guys have planned today? First, we're gonna go to a store and get some of those ribbons with sticks. What are they called? Ribbon sticks. Ribbon sticks. And then we're gonna go to Pearl's dance studio tonight. Oh, Pearl, you have a dance studio? Yep. But we can't go there until after six o'clock. Oh no, why is that? Oh, you know. No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. Michael, enough grilling Pearl. What? Don't you think it's a little suspicious that she's homeless, but yet she has a dance studio? You have a toaster oven that you never use. That's not even close to being the same thing. Well, you're welcome to come with us to the dance studio tonight. Maybe I will. Then we will see who is correct. Yep. We will. Connor. If it isn't the Mikester himself, just the man I wanted to see. Have a seat. What's going on? Uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Just wanted to see how life's treating you. It's been fine. Anything crazy been going on? Well, last night my sister did bring home this homeless woman and- Michael, my life is in shambles. 
Oh. Really? Is it because your dad died? No. It's because I have to run this fucking corporation. Because my dad died. Well, I, I can't really help you out there. I've never had to run a corporation. Look, Friday morning, the investors want to hear my plan for the future of Fillmore Industries. This could go bad. I've never had to be held accountable for any of my actions before. Well, if you want, I could help you build a new business model. I can make a few charts and graphs, if you need it. Really? Yeah, sure. Great. Well, go ahead and get to work on whatever that means. I'm gonna go take a nap in my office. We'll go over ideas over lunch. Uh, yeah, some, yeah. Sound good? Sure. All right, see you then. That was a refreshing nap. Did you have a relaxing time? No. I answered phone calls. I did my basic job duties. And I planned a new business model for our company over the course of three hours. Well, at least we didn't die. Sure, that just kind of trivializes any issue. I have an idea, Michael. Two words. Water slide. Or is that one word? Water slide? Yes, water slide. That's got to be two words, right? I, I don't know. But what do you mean, water slide? I want to put in an office water slide. Right in the middle of the third floor cubicles. You climb up one end, and you slide down to the other side. Wouldn't that put a lot of our electronics at risk? Maybe. Okay, well, I'm fresh out of ideas. Your only idea was an office water slide? What was your childhood like, Michael? It was fine, I guess. Let me guess. You were adopted. It, no. Really? You, you scream adopted. I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. It, were you adopted or something? No. Why are we having this conversation? I just want to get to know you better. Okay. Well, I was raised in a normal suburban household. Suburbia? I've always been interested in that. What was it like? I mean, it's life. Cool. Cool. So if we could get back to talking about this business model, I'd really- God, can we go five fucking seconds without using the word business? You said this was a business meeting. I got it. A mascot. I I'm sorry, what? What if Fillmore Industries had a cartoon mascot? For what reason? To, to brighten people's lives or for branding purposes, whatever. Okay. It could be a dog. It could be the dog I never had. Oh boy. Okay, uh, Connor, before we go too far into this rabbit hole, maybe we- His name would be Fluffy. He would be so full of joy. But he'd be like a cart- Tune, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Or maybe he could be a real dog. A real dog? Damn it, Michael, you convinced me. No, 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 no. he doesn't have Fluffy to be Fluffy could be a real dog. He could be an office dog. Oh, that's not gonna be good for productivity. It's settled then. We're getting a new mascot. Let's get his picture on company shirts. Should he have a catchphrase? Um... He should have a catchphrase. Could be... Could be... Life's rough. <laughs> write that down. I don't have anything to write with. That's fine. I'll remember it. Are you sure that this is a good investment? I've never been more sure about anything in my entire life. Okay. Maggie. Thanks for driving us to Pearl's dance studio. I just don't want you getting murdered in some back alley somewhere. You wouldn't murder me, would you, Pearl? Murder you? No. I don't even have a knife. Oh, 
See, Michael? She doesn't even have a knife. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Are you sure this is a smart idea? Yeah, let's go. Here we are. Maggie, are you sure you want to do this? Why? Let's go inside. Come on, let's go. Maggie, you can't be this stupid, right? Like, surely you're not actually this dumb. Michael? Why would you say that? Because you're about to walk into a dark room with a total stranger you just picked up off the street yesterday. I trust her, Michael. Well, when's that going to end? Is it going to take somebody killing you for them to lose your trust? That's a ridiculous question. Is it? Is it, Maggie? What if that's not a dance studio? I would be devastated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why you don't go around blindly trusting people. But what if it is, Michael? But what if it isn't? What if it is? Maggie. I want to go in there. Maggie, please. Please don't do that. I'm going to, Michael. And if I get murdered in there, no, I did it for the right reasons. For a ribbon dancing competition? Yes, Michael. For a ribbon dancing competition. Maggie. Maggie! 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 Maggie, you don't have to do this! Maggie! Sorry, it's hard to find the light switch in the dark. I... I don't know what to say. Pearl, you had me scared there for a minute. Michael is trying to tell me that you were taking us to your slaughterhouse. <laughs> nope. Just my dance studio. Well, Michael, what have you got to say? Well, Pearl, I'm sorry. I didn't think you owned a dance studio. <laughs> what? I don't look like someone that could own a professional dance studio? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh, that's good. Hey, so you got a bathroom around here? Yeah, it's down the hall to the left. Great. Uh, I guess you guys can go ahead and start practicing your choreography or whatever. Hey there, handsome. What? You work in the sales? Well, man, that is... That... That is... Maggie! Maggie! Hi, Pearl. Maggie! We need to leave. Lesson just started. Pearl is teaching me the history of ribbons. <gasps> Did you know that ribbon is Maltese for balance? I don't care. We broke into somebody's dance studio. If it's not one thing with you, it's something else. Why can't you just see you were wrong and drop it? Maggie, the walls say Mr. Jazz Hands Dance Studio. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for that. Uh, Pearl, who is Mr. Jazz Hands? Um, um, he's my business partner. See? Hmm. We broke into somebody's dance studio. Why would you say that? Maggie, we need to leave! Uh, do you know the code for the alarm? No, I forgot. But he's not ready to leave. You're the owner. What's the problem? Maggie, we need to leave before the police show up. We can just explain to him that Pearl's the owner but forgot the code. Pearl does not own this place. She said she did. Then why is she running away? 
she's going to meet the police and tell them before they bust in. I think we should stay here. We are going to get arrested for breaking and entering. I doubt that that happens. I guess we can cross that off our bucket list. Don't talk to me, Maggie. Oh, someone's got them jailhouse blues. I just stayed the night in jail because of you and your determination to trust everyone on this planet except for me. Pearl said it was all a big misunderstanding. How did you talk to Pearl? Well, I used my phone call to call her since she stayed at your apartment last night. She said that Mr. Jazz Hands is her ex-husband and sometimes he says he so doesn't know- So, she stayed at my apartment last night while I was in jail for the crime that she committed? Ironic, isn't it? No! It's dickish! I want her out of my house! She's my ribbon dancing partner. I need her! Then I want you out of my house, too. You and Pearl have caused me so much trouble. And I don't know Pearl, but I thought you would have changed after all these years. But you haven't. If anything, you're worse. You say you want to be an adult, but you don't even try! Being an adult doesn't mean befriending a homeless woman and wasting a whole week training for a stupid ribbon dancing competition. Look what I have to do today. I have to go straight to work, even though I already missed half the day, and then I have to design a new business plan for tomorrow morning, and I have to order 100 Fluffy the Puppy t-shirts, because that's what adults do. Fine, Michael. I knew I shouldn't have come to you. You're worse than mom and dad, and twice as self-righteous. And I know you made up that Fluffy the Puppy thing so that I would ask about it, but guess what? It's not going to work. And if you don't want me, fine. I'll stay with Pearl on the streets for one night. And then I'm going to win a ribbon dancing competition and I'm going to stay at the Radisson by the airport. That's not even the most convenient Radisson. I don't care. I like it better. Uh, Maggie, you don't have to do that. You can still stay with me at my place while you get a job and get back on your feet. Can I still compete in the ribbon dancing competition? No! No, you can't! I don't know why that's so important to you. You just signed up for it on Tuesday. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to me, Michael. I'm sick of you and mom and dad telling me I can't do things. And if I'm going to become an adult and spend the rest of my life, nine to five, Monday through Friday, at a dead end job, then I want to do something, just commit to something I want to do once, as crazy as it might be, before I can't anymore. Then do it. Just stop asking for my help. Oh, hey, Murphy. It's Maggie. Did you think my name was Murphy this whole time? That was jail. It was cold. They didn't have blankets? Surprisingly, they didn't. Well, that's pretty weird. I know. Anyway, we're gonna have to move out of here. Out of this apartment? Yeah. Me and Michael got in an argument, and it was either quit the ribbon dancing competition or a roof over our heads. And you didn't choose the roof? What? No. Not when I have a professional dance partner. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, you can show me how to rough it on the streets. That sounds cool, right? Could we just skip the ribbon dance competition and stay here? <laughs> Good one, Pearl. I know how important this competition is for you. Ready for the streets? Man, life on the streets is rough. Did you feel how chilly it was out there? It's like a tundra. Mm. You want a bite of my sandwich? We've got a lot to accomplish before tomorrow morning. We have to perfect our ribbon routine. We have to get back to the mall. Not to mention, I have to learn to ribbon dance. Hey, you want to see that new Bradley Cooper movie? Do I? Wow, who knew Bradley Cooper had that kind of range? I know! Who knew being homeless would be so much fun? <laughs> oh, 
was all 27 trailers uh -huh. and waiting to see if that movie had an end credit scene. Yeah. That took exactly three hours. Oh my God, Pearl, we haven't even practiced the routine yet. Hey, look, isn't that a mini golf course over there? Wait, where? I would have won if it hadn't been for that stupid gorilla at the eighth hole. Well, with your horrible golf skills hey. and those two groups of seven in front of us, well, this took us nearly four hours. Oh my God, I, I got distracted again. Jeez. Oh, I'm really worn out. I'm gonna call it a day. To the tunnel. Connor, do you know what time it is? Hey Mike. I just want to give you a call and say thank you for all your help over the last few days. It's really meant a lot. Well, yeah, it's no problem. Mike, do you know what it's like to not have everyone else in your life? Yeah. Yeah, I do. It sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, but in the end, you only have yourself to blame. I'm a horrible person, Mike. I'm a sick monster, just like my father and his father. We don't have to be like our fathers, Connor. God, where do you get that empathy? Is it something that I, I had and slowly lost over time, or was I born completely without it? Connor? Hey, hey let's, uh, let's just talk tomorrow, okay? Okay, yeah. Hey, Mike. Yeah? What did your father do for a living? He worked in an office. Can I ask you a personal question? Go for it. How did you become homeless? Well, s several things that happened all at once. I had a home, and a job, and a husband. And over the course of about four months, I lost them all. I'm so sorry, Pearl. It's life, you know? I wish I had your youth, that optimism. You can do whatever you want. Be whoever you want. You can still do that, too. No, I can't. I'll be this way until the day I die. That's what scares me the most. Are you afraid of dying? I'm terrified. Aren't you? Not at all. My biggest fear is being alive, but not living, you know? No, I don't. What's the point of being alive if all you do is eat, sleep, and work? You don't get it yet. But soon you will. like something out of a Richard Simmons workout video. That's the spirit. Now let's go get registered. Come on. Hey, Michelangelo. Thanks for helping me put together everything this past week. Well, the thanks last night was more than enough. Last night? Yeah, the phone call. I called you last night? Yeah. What did I say? Um, uh, you know, just thank you. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, hey, you ready to wow our investors? Yeah, about that. Are you sure you want me to pitch this to them? I don't, I don't really know anything about talking to people like that. No worries. 
It's a conference call. You won't even have to look at their withering, decrepit old faces. That wasn't the problem. The investors should be fine. Unless you mention them that you're a fucking convict. I'm not a convict, right? The, the DA dropped the charges. How was everything, by the way? Is, is jail as cold as they say it is? Mm, it was kind of cold, I guess. Did they, um... Did they give you any blankets? No. No. Why would they do that? Just wondering. Well, uh, we should probably go to the conference room. Oh. We're here to sign up for the ribbon dancing competition. What are your names? I'm Maggie Wyatt, and this is my partner, Table Abandoned Mall. Ah, yes. Nice to meet you, Miss Abandoned Mall. Where's the food? Refreshments are backstage. Don't mind Table. She just has to eat right before her performances. That's all. Isn't that the homeless lady that hangs around the parking lot? No. I think you must be mistaken. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck with your performance. Thank you. I just want to get this straight. With the $8,000 we are giving you, you want to buy a dog, take photos of him, and put them on billboards, bus benches, and new company shirts? That's correct. Okay. And his slogan is, life's rough. How exactly does that tie into acquisitions? Uh, oh, uh, well, um, so th the branding would be more for public awareness than it would be for uh, client securing and procurement. Ah, and who's that? Oh, that's, uh, that's Michael. Uh, he helped me organize this pitch. I see. Uh, I don't know. Dan, what do you think? I think this sounds idiotic. I don't see how this is even remotely a wise investment. Uh, hey, uh, could you guys hold on for, for a minute? I need to speak with Michael. Well, I have... Uh, it'll be just a minute. I'll be right back. They want to give us $8,000? Uh, yeah, um, for things that we need at the company. That's where the whole dog idea came from. Connor, this office does not need a dog. Maybe you don't need a dog, okay? You and your, and your, and your sister and your suburban childhood and some of us are fucking alone okay I, I want I want something I I need something Connor look I know we don't need a dog okay I just want to do what's right for the company my father didn't give a fuck about anything except for the bottom dollar he didn't care about me or mom or or especially you guys. So, this whole plan is... It, it, was, it was supposed to be fun. Look, I don't know how to run a company, okay? I just wanted you guys to like me. I wanted, I wanted to be the cool boss, you know? I just... But, I guess I, uh, I don't even deserve that. Connor, if you really wanted everyone here to like you, there's way better things that we could spending that money on than an office dog or issuing company shirts. And what would those be? Well, you could update our operating system so it's not from the 1990s. Um, you could buy new chairs, a new copier. There's a whole list of things that you could better spend this money on. Okay. If I have your back, do you think you can sell that to the investors? Um, Pearl? Oh, hey. Did you try the hummus yet? No. It's average at best. Cool. Uh, why aren't you wearing your matching tracksuit? Uh, it was too hot. I'm 
Well, you should probably go change soon. We're going on in a few minutes. I watched a few videos on my phone about ribbon dancing, so I know a few moves, but you're gonna have to take the lead on this one, if that's okay. Uh, Pearl, are you going to change? Probably not. Why not? We're gonna be on stage and it'll look better if we're wearing matching clothes. I'm not going on stage. I came for the food. I'm eating. Can you please just leave me alone? No. no. Pearl. You lied to me. You said you were gonna help me. Are you even a ribbon dancer? Hmm. Nope. Before last week, I didn't even know that existed. Michael was right. I trusted you, Pearl. Does that even matter? Listen, everyone exploits everyone. It's called capitalism. The difference is mine was for free food and shelter and yours was for fast cash that you wouldn't even earn and you didn't really need. But hey, pleasure doing business with you. No, that's it. You can pack your bags and get out of my life. Hey, are you two together or what? Together? Not anymore. She can go fuck herself and, and shit in a bucket for all I care. Oh my god. I hope you die alone, you son of a bitch. I am gonna go ribbon dancing and you're not welcome. Well, uh, thank you for your time. I'll be sure to keep you all updated on our progress. Sounds good. Okay, bye. Did we just do that? I think we did. <laughs> oh, oh <my> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> 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 hey, Connor, you know, you really didn't have to do that. Uh, it's no problem. I don't think they were going to go for my whole dog idea anyway. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm really sorry. Sorry? Sorry about what? You know, I, I really misjudged you, and I really can't say how sorry I am about that. Hey, it's fine. No, no it's not. I, I'm really harsh on people, and I'm way too quick to judge, and I... Wait, what time is it? Um, it's 9.35, why? I, I, I need to go. What's going on? My sister's in this ribbon dancing competition at the local dying mall, and I think her homeless dance partner's gonna bail on her. Sounds dope. Can I come? I, I, I mean, I guess. I, but we need to leave right now. Let's go. I'll drive. Okay. Hey. It's time to go on.
no, I think it's a left. No, are you oh, serious? No, 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 okay, no, you're good, you're good. Uh, 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 I think it's coming up on the left. Okay, this is for your sister, man. I know it's for my sister. Okay, your left is straight. Yeah, go straight, but it's gonna be on the left. Okay, so I have to the left lane, but go straight. I know it's to a, stop if there's somebody in front of me, okay? Stop. I understand it. This is not your car. Cheesy smile. Okay, okay, big one. Oh, tend to strangle me. Tend to strangle me. That'd be really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like this one. <laughs> They're burning. We should probably get out of here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. It's a shitty, shitty place, and you should just close yourself off before you can get hurt again. No, Maggie, you were right. Connor was a good person, and, and I was wrong to think otherwise. You know, not everyone in the world is out to get you. But they will. Give them time. Everyone will let you down. You did. Pearl did. Connor will, too. Maggie, you can't think like that. Look, the, the world is a scary and lonely place, and you have to let other people in. Michael, you need to grow up. Sorry, I don't understand. We won the competition, but you can't give us the check. That's correct. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. And who does? The National Ribbon Dancing Association. That's a thing? Yes. And you would know that if you were real ribbon dancers. <laughs> but we still won. By default, there were no other competitors. And the NRDA has very strict rules about us giving out certain prizes to performers who break the rules. So you're not going to give them their money because they broke a couple of rules? <sighs> Sir, they broke 17 rules. <laughs> but hey, listen, nobody's more upset about this than we are. You know, I really thought that this ribbon dancing competition was going to turn things around for them all. And now I have to go with my second option, a dog mascot. That's a bummer. Well, hey, we still won. 
And that's something to be proud of. I guess. Hey, you did really great out there. Thanks. Are you Michael's friend? Uh... Yeah. This is Connor. Yeah, I'm Connor. I'm... I'm Michael's friend. Nice to meet you, Connor. <laughs> Mike, Michael. He helped us get a lot of new things at the office that we've been needing for a long time. So I guess you could say the moral of this story is maybe we should trust the wealthy trust fund kid over the homeless person. Okay, maybe that maybe that didn't sound quite right. <laughs> Gee, thanks for taking us to Connor's place, Maggie. It's okay. I just don't want you murdered in a mansion somewhere. Oh, Connor wouldn't murder me. Right, Con Man? Murder you? Nah. See? I do have a pretty extensive knife collection now. Oh, see? He could show us that when we get there. Um, where are we going? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a left here. house I've ever seen. Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Michael! Are you stupid? You're about to go into the home of some weird rich kid who just took over your company this week. You won't even know this man. Maggie, I'm gonna go inside. You don't have to, alright? <laughs> 